This cute little hanging Hoya is called Hoya Wayetii variegata, and there are obviously non-variegated versions, but this particular one I have saved because this one was going, um, this was hanging kind of under uh, other plants and pretty far away from my southwest facing window. However, this one requires a little bit more higher light than regular Hoya. This is actually, I think, I believe from the Philippines. And they do require a little bit more like 70 to 90% of sunlight. And I think with the variegated version, it requires a little bit more light than the non-variegated version. It makes a beautiful hanging basket kind of pendant plant. You'll see that I have this kind of growing in this funky pot. So it looks like she has like some punk rocker kind of hair. And um, it, prefers a little bit more humidity. I'd say giving it moderate humidity is um, is going to be better for this particular plant. It does start to pucker a little bit if you don't give it a tremendous amount of water. And actually, if you overwater this plant, it will start to pucker as well, which brings me on to soil. And I would say with soil, you want to have something that's a little bit more well-draining because this is an epiphytic species. It's growing on something else and it requires a little bit more of a well-draining mixture because it does not like to keep its roots wet. So having something that's a little bit higher in perlite, maybe a little bit more of a barkier mix um, is going to be great for Hoya Wayetii. Um, or why at DI. <laughs> um, as far as propagation goes, these are fairly easy to propagate. You could actually clip them right below a node um, and it, they don't need tr a tremendous amount of nodes. I'd say two nodes at, at the least is uh, you know what you could use in order to be able to propagate this. And as far as pests go, I've never had a problem with this particular Hoya. I've had it for about a year. And, um, and I would say that mealybugs would be the one thing that would probably attack your Hoyas, but I have not had any problem with this particular one.